We'll get her. Looking good. Let's do it all over again. Yay! If I can meet the man who put those boards on, teach him a thing or two. Wow! What an idiot! Holy! I What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. New project. This is a 31-ish foot old camper trailer. Mm -hmm. Someone has uh, already taken the, obviously, the camper section off. And I need a longer trailer because it's nice. Mine's not long enough or heavy enough to handle much more than the Razor and an ATV. And we need uh, something that'll handle Bert and the Razor and an ATV or two. So, yeah, this is cheap. It was free. I did buy some extra different axles because these style are absolute trash. With the uh, these wedge style, they're terrible. Terrible. I have another set out back that are just a regular five bolt. Uh, I think they're 4,000 pounds a piece, 3,500, 4,000 pounds a piece. Um, this thing is uh, super light. It's gonna get lighter. Um, all these pieces are gonna, I'm gonna get these all cut off. Like they're already, some are cracked. They're all coming off, steps coming off, backs coming off, all the wood's coming off. Um, I might leave some of the wood in the center because it's not, it is nice to bolt to. And then I have all that tubing right there. That's going to, I'm gonna put a crosser in between each run and run a full length of that heavy wall two by two right along this, all the way along the side. And that'll give us basically our width for the razor, 72. And there's only gonna be two boards, nothing, two boards, full length. It's gonna be strictly for loading the stuff and ATVs and stuff. I'll make a set of ramps for it. So I have a work cut out for me. This is the fun part, demolishing um, and cutting. So I'm excited. This is a, uh, yeah, anyone can do this as well. To be honest, it's cheap. You could probably, you can get those campers with the camper on it for a thousand bucks these days. Those old ones are junk and just take the uh, top off yourself. Can't be that hard to do. Some sawzalls and some friends and some beers and away you go. And uh, this person did a really good job because they actually took it off and they painted it all. So there's no rust anywhere. Uh, we have to grind that off to weld too, but it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Appreciate you guys tuning in. It's gonna be a fun oh. video. We better get started on, on it right now. I can meet the man who put those boards on. Teach him a thing or two. Like, <laughs> I'm not seeing anything like it. Every screw is countersunk pretty well through the board. And no wonder they weren't holding because he went so far that you get to the part of the screw that has this, the top part. So there's no, there's nothing holding the boards on because he's, he's gone past this. They're this way and this way and down and like every angle possible. That was unbelievable. I got these ones are all ready to go back on. These ones, there's so many and you can't find them. So I'm just been breaking them off, which is defined really easy to break off. But wow, wow, what an idiot! Holy, I like my eight year old swear she could do a better job than that. That was unbelievable, anyways. We have a pretty bare trailer and it is, when I say bare, <clears throat> it's bare. This is a, uh, yeah, there's not much to this unit. Oh, you could, that pulls up the camera. Sure, it does. Little flex, little flex in that baby. Uh, <laughs> There's way less crosses than I thought. I think people pull this down the road with a camper on it. I guess the camper gives it a lot of strength, a lot more strength, but this is, uh, yeah, it's unreal. Like to have this much space 
with nothing. But there's quite a bit of cutting to do. All these little tubes down here, they have no, they're no use to me. And like I said before, all these are gonna go, a lot of the wood. I think I, can, I should be able to find screws that can go through the wood into uh, into metal instead of going into the wood. That'll be better. This is, uh, so it's like, I know it looks heavy, but it is very light. I don't think, oh, that's box back there. There's not really a spot where you can see how light it is, unless it's probably the same gauge as this, which is like 12, 10, 12 maybe. Oh, I did notice this though. It's pretty sketchy. This bolt. Looks like they had vice grips, and that's as tight as I could get it. And just were like, ah, fuck it, send it. Who cares? <laughs> so uh, I have a little break here, because that was quite a bit of work. And uh, yeah, get the grinder, torches, plasma cutter, whatever out, and start hacking some of the stuff apart. So that's gonna be exciting. It's gonna look a lot different after that. Then it's uh, it's already starting to put it back together after I get some of the stuff knocked off. That simple. That simple. Sweet. side done I'm gonna come back in the bottom is fully welded it's the hardest to do I can come back and do another one in between these but uh, make sure welds look real easy when you got a nice gap oh. yeah it's turned out really good should be for up big time got this cap put on this little angle looks decent they look ground off I look good but yeah that's gonna beef it up big time Holding under here sucks, but quite a few down there. It didn't take too long, an hour and a bit to do that side. Yeah, well, still, it's better than it was for sure. But get a bunch of the other side on, I'll beef it up some more. Put a bunch of crossers in, that'll uh, look a bit. Get back to you, I want to take the other side done. I'm not going to be able to tape that twice because why would I? Nothing special there. Just uh, make sure you got good contact, good grounds. And uh, yeah, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I got to put to a cap for this end yet too, but that looks good. Rock on, let's keep going. It's still cooler out, so get as much done as I can. Yeah, before I start dying of heat. This week's supposed to be really hot, so. Nice to get as much welding done as possible. Well, the other side is done. It took about an hour to do that side, a little quicker. I knew it was a little more when I was doing. Now I'm on to uh, crossers, and I really hope they stiffen them up because even with these two extra uh, square tubing, 
It's still pretty flimsy. Got my first one cut here. Fits pretty minty. I'm gonna run them on the top. And uh, so I'm gonna mark where I wanna put them and then grind off the paint on both sides and then uh, weld them in place. So there's two there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven to do. But it didn't, it surprisingly didn't change it that much. So I'm really hoping the crossers, like you said, beef it up. I don't see how that does beef it up, but it must. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's uh, let's get started on that. It's starting to get a little hot out now, so. But the uh, the really shitty job I didn't want to do is done, which was those tubes and welding underneath. That's all finished. So let's do it. Let's get her done. a lot of work got all these crossers there's a lot of them got them all in and uh, still wasn't happy with how much flux it had I was shocked with the added 2x2 Gosh, it has flexed it a lot so my only next option was to kind of bridge it and put side rails on it um, which is also a lot of work and it is a lot better See? Before it was like the whole thing would do this and I did it on a little I jacked the back up so when you let it down to keep that bridge in it adds strength. What what? There's something on my face? Where? Really? That's weird. It uh got a little muggy this afternoon, I'm not gonna lie. My shirt underneath is absolutely soaked. Um but I am also out of time. It is 7.30? 7. It's 7. So that's uh, almost 12 hours. Uh, I'm going to do the front. I'm going to bring it across and do the whole front too. May as well. That'll look sharp. And it'll add even more strength. So it had to be continued. I thought I would have got all done today, but then this, the rails added a lot of time. And so, anyways, it's going to do it for today. We'll catch you when we're back in the shop. Well, I uh, worked away. Got the door closed now, but the uh, front here welded up, turned out really nice. This is all done. I'm gonna put a block on each side, and uh, so I have to make one of those and two for the back. But that part's done. A plate from here to here to keep the water out, and then weld the plate onto here to here, and then I'll grind grind it halfway through and bend it down and weld it here. Give us a bit of a thing because I looked online, like the cheapest steel fender you get is still 170 bucks. And I think that was for one. So 
Pretty sure I got enough steel. I'm pretty sure I can do it for a lot cheaper and it'll probably be stronger. So that's what we're gonna start right now. inner fenders not straight I uh I need a new tip she's blowing it sideways she's F so it's really hard to cut straight if I'll get these on the inside you won't really see them but I'll do the outside ones I can have to do a better job of clamping and getting a straight line so I can use two hands well, I've had this for quite a while. I learned something new every time. There's a little cubby in there, and it happens to have I've quite a few of these. Oops. How bad that is. Just dickers. But then I also look how bad this is. But that's what it's supposed to look like. Cause uh, yeah, that is no good. Ugly. Got lucky here. Might be able to get her fixed. Just as I got the other fender on, embraced. Good timing. All I left to do is a bunch of welding. So yeah, that's what fender turned out. Just as good or better than the other one. Looks minty. Got her all pretty well welded, but you can see it's starting to get a little nasty. I gotta uh, weld a whole bunch of this and a bunch of that, and then do all this stitching. And like I said before, couple uncaps but that's gonna do it for this episode actually what's going on welcome back to the same episode this is supposed to be two episodes we're still on trailer yep this is it completed it's actually gone for a ride already to north bay and back which you guys will see both videos before this comes out i was gonna post it before but i figured the guys who went on camp really wanted to see the video so I'm postponing this. I did a lot since the last update. I was gonna make it two videos. I'm gonna make it one. It just seems smoother that way. No one likes part two of this stuff. Where we left off, I had no boards. No, I think I had fenders on and these rails. It's since uh, I went to my buddy's place and he did all the lighting. I think there's like nine penny lights down there. They turned out really good um, in the back. We have three more penny lights. He did a license plate cover. He left those, uh, the main lights open because I was going to do these ramps, which they turned out wicked. This is two, two by two with one inch square tubing. Could have made it a little closer together, but so I did angle iron up and then on these, I did angle iron down. Works great. You, you've got movement. So if you slide them right in, it will fit the uh, ATV 30. Slide them right out. The razor fits just with a couple inches to spare. James's bike is still on here, so you can see how long it is. So we had James's, then Dirk's, 
the razor was like right over the axles and then the trailer was at the back it just fits tires just fit perfect right where i wanted it um yeah controller brakes on and uh yeah the boards are actually a lot of work to get them cut and laid in i ended up taking these ones and they were in here flipping them around so i had a bigger point to contact to some of the boards were a little wonky but made them work notched here and drilled had these long ones drilled them right into the uh frame it uh my little arch worked great and i made these uh for unloading because that's a long way from there to the back to have something heavy made them adjustable they worked awesome the trailer doesn't even flex at all and then the back i bolted these ones right down so they're really strong ramps were great they didn't uh they don't flex at all even with the razor on there today i'm going to get it ground off and get it painted so it gets kind of finished up and change uh these i just kind of stuck on there he had these made i'm going to cut them shorter and put a bend in them so they go straight down and weld them on time you do that paint it black you will never even notice but yeah it works so good like so good very happy with it it's enough chatting that's enough uh going with the trailer super happy with it i'm gonna get a finish up today and see what it looks like when she's all painted but for right now there is a ton of wire wire brushing to do to get all the surface rust off and then clean it off with um some paint thinner let's uh let's get started on that shall we I'm pulling around to the front unload the bike yeah fun good times <laughs> Wasn't, uh, oh, I gotta wipe those down yet. Wasn't too bad. Instant, uh, instant regret not painting that when I first welded it, but I literally had zero time. We finished it next day. I'm pretty sure it was like we loaded. So, but that uh, turned out not too bad. It's pretty cleaned up. Use, uh, most people know that, but you gotta use paint thinner because all steel comes with an oil, like a slight oil coating. That's why. It does take a while for it to start rusting. Uh, this is seen quite a few rains. So it rusts pretty quick, but it turned out, yeah, pretty good. She's smooth and clean. Looks good, ready for paint. And uh, you can see the other side, how bad it was. Um, another regret is uh, my grinder doesn't fit in here. So that's why I was using the manual labor stuff, which actually took it off pretty quick. So this is pretty light grit. What is it, 180? So yeah, it turned out nice, really nice. I'm going to paint it inside, majority. The front still sticks out. So I'm going to do the other side. I can record that because you just seen this side, but uh, yeah, it takes a bit of time. That was only 37 minutes to do one complete side. So rock on, do the other side, get her done, put her inside. At least get the front half. Now I'll probably paint the whole thing in one coat. Probably won't take that long. It's just it's windy enough out here. I think I'll waste more paint than what it's worth. So the penny lights kind of suck to go around. It's just with the grinder, but we'll get her. We'll get her. Looking good. Let's do it all over again. Yay! I did come up with an idea for uh, penny lights. 3.8 socket, I'll put an extension on it. Bam! You can still see the rubber. So, that should work perfect. I started to tape them and I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm. I did tape these off. This one's spraying right here, doesn't get on the lights. 
that's that. And uh, yeah, I'm also good at her. Shocker, three cans is not quite enough. I have a one coat on the entire thing except for a few spots. Obviously, I sold the doors under here, didn't get under there, all done. Could do the axles. Um, but the main bare steel stuff that you see, including underneath, is uh, it's done. Yeah, it looks uh, not too bad. My little socket worked mint. Um, yeah, there's a lot of angles in there, and you know it's pretty straightforward. But uh, yeah, it looks good. I'm covered in paint. I can feel it on my skin, and I'm out of paint. That's gonna do it. I need to do uh, the racks and those yet. I'm gonna go in town now and get some more. Just uh, try and get more of it done before tomorrow, so I can pull this out, pull everything in. But if you do find a camper, it's really cheap. Um, I was 350 bucks in steel and I didn't even use it all. Tires the most expensive. They were 700 bucks for four of those galvanized tires. Um, lighting, uh, he hasn't set the bill yet. It's not going to very much. These penny lights are they, they're cheap as hell and he was only, I guess it's five hours doing the whole thing, including brakes. So she me too much money. I'm going to say she's probably a $1,500, 31 foot actual length. That does include the tongue. 31 foot trailer. <coughs> Sorry, it's a little uh, paint fumes in here. Uh, yeah, pretty cheap way of uh, going side by side or ATV. You can probably get five ATVs on here. I bet you can handle it no problem for 1500 bucks. Pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. You were buy a 31 foot, which you really can't get unless you get a triaxle. You're probably 15 grand I bet you or more so yeah don't hesitate to do it it's easy you need a welder and a cutoff saw cut weld repeat thanks for watching hope you liked it any questions throw in the comments um subscribe give it a big old thumbs up fucking see you later